Hargreaves, chance for Torquay! Chris Hargreaves, the captain! If he stays onside, Carlisle checks instead. He's looking for Ben and Sills! Welcome to the latest episode of Girls Eye View, brought to you by Galaxy TQ, our sponsor. Please keep going there. Well, I'm not watching the World Cup anymore, but uh, the World Cup games and when the Premier League comes back, go down there. It's a great place. Thank you for sponsoring. And once again, I'm joined by Dom. Good evening, lads. Joined by Tom. Good evening, lads. You're right. Yeah, I'll buzz him. Uh, Chris has got work commitments um, and strikes, <laughs> so uh, he's not with us this week. I've got a new light in there. It's very fancy. I've got five pounds. So you can uh, make it different colours. I would go more pale there. We can get that. <clears throat> they haven't sponsored us. But um, there we go. That, that, that's about as interesting as you get from me this week. Uh, old and really away. It's a fantastic opening, Tom, isn't it? That is. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, brilliant. Yeah. yeah. I'm very tired. Yeah, the perfect as well, Christmas so. gift. I've, well, I've just had to speak about the old and away game on Talkie Podcast. I volunteered to do that. So I'm now going to speak about it again. Uh, you've had a good warm-up, haven't you? That's yes, the my, my opinion is it was terrible. And, well, yeah. okay. My actual opinion is, first off, tactical disaster. On earth was that midfield? Uh, we'll go into more depth in a minute. Oh, it's not that bad. I'm going to have to crack out the drink already. Um, and then um, we got better in the second half. But if you're conceding eight or nine chances per game, then it doesn't matter how good you are going forward. I think Crow and Marshall absolutely out of their depth, horrendously, um, and that cost us the game. Well, that's my overall view, but I'll let you go a bit more in depth. Tom, you take it from here. Oh, that first half. Um, that I mean, the it? first five minutes was probably the, the the first five minutes was probably the best bit end to end. But have gone one there. That Crow own goal, Mike. Yeah, absolutely. But that Crow own goal. What a disaster. I mean, it's laughable. For one, Torquay fans, it's laughable. It's a ten year old worse than the, Oh, it's the it's worse than the one Ellis conceded against Derby early on. It's just it's pathetic, really. Uh it's and of course when you're conceding goals like that, it's just makes it so much more difficult to win games of football. And I didn't think Oldham were brilliant. Um Granted, they've got in the second half, they brought on some good quality players and they should get out of trouble with the squad that they've got. To be honest, it's a joke that they're even in the bottom four with us at the moment with the it's squad momentum, they've got. Isn't it? It's on momentum. Paper. Mm. Like on contact, but that team it, starts the season, it probably gets playoffs, but because it's the mm. negative, it wants to get a few results, which we've aided them, of course. Uh, they all fly up, mm-hmm. I have no doubt. But the, the thing for me was a win. And we would have been out of the bottom four. And yeah. we just didn't. That first half, I mean, again, tactically, what on earth was Gary thinking? It's a, it's a shambles. It was just, it's just embarrassing. And thankfully, Oldham didn't punish us in that first half more. And to, we should have been level at half time right at the end of that first half. And then second half makes the changes. And funny enough, we're a lot better than we were in the first. And Goodwin took his goal really well. Great movement between him and Lapsley for the goal. And uh, there's just, we're making the same mistakes. And I've said this before on this, uh, in these videos, we're just making the same mistakes. We we don't chase down. The second goal they scored was a great goal. But again, Plymouth scored three how of much them time in space? Plymouth scored three of them in pre-season. And it, oh, what a Chest, Chesterfield, it's awful. Yeah, Chesterfield scored a couple, didn't they? At Playmore yeah. not too long ago yeah. like that. And it's just, it's a great goal, but it's just, <clears throat> close them down lads make him work for it at least yeah and uh, thank you know we got the penalty straight away pretty much which was good and then our game management was terrible we didn't look come close until the last Sandals. two minutes of injury time and marshall loses his man oh it's just we, to know that we could have been out of the bottom four what a morale booster that would have been a bit of momentum after dagging and even if we're and now we're back to nowhere near getting safety I know we're out of it but we still need to get a lot of wins the fact we lost that mm. game to a rival now we don't play for two weeks and play another the most local rival and domestic rival in Yeovil ah oh, and um, shocking what, did, what was it what was the interview at full time it's a setback oh look, look in, it's it's embarrassing I, I was I could have thrown I could have thrown the remote at the TV. I was so I was so pissed off at full time because yeah. we, it was an opportunity. It was oh, an opportunity. Tom, to build some momentum. 
And yeah, yeah. and we're just I'm sick and tired of watching us make the same mistakes. And I agree. We're halfway agree. through I we're agree. halfway through the season and it's not improving. Yeah. But oh yeah. Dom, you, you speak. Yeah, because... go on, Dom. You'll go. Come on, Dom. Come on. <laughs> um, where do we start? We gave credit to Gary Johnson last week, didn't he? I mean, he started uh-huh. to get a few things right. Um, I, I spoke points. about it all week. I I what? said, is Jarvis going to come back in? Mm, if he yeah, comes back yeah, in, no, I know where you're going with this one. Yeah. Begins to get lost. He brought him back in. He brought him back in for Asa Hall. Um, a player job. we've slogged to death pretty much because we keep playing him every game he gets injured as we expect him to get injured we haven't got a replacement for him we bring in an extra striker we lose the balance of the team yeah we have Donovan trying to cover all midfield avenues uh, the first half was just a nightmare to be honest they could have been two or three nil up and we'd have had no excuses um, just expect more from an experienced manager. I'm just so disappointed at that kind of naivety from, you know, a, a manager of Gary Johnson's CV and stature that he, he can make such simple errors. And and then he, you know, quickly tries to tidy up at half time. He brings a couple of man, a couple of midfielders in to chain things around. And it does improve, but it, it still it still feels like desperate chaos. Yeah, yeah. You know, trying to make it work. Two, two, one, one. Like a... Where was the game management? Are we just just copy yeah, pasted again. from the last month or two. Honestly, where's the game management? Where's this? It's just yeah. basics, man. I mean, two things. I'm just so disappointed now. with the management there because we could yeah. blame the players. I mean, it was a yeah. terrible goal by Dylan Crow. I mean, he's got to, everyone's he's got to kick that left footed. I mean, that's mm. amateur hour, isn't it? But. Yeah, we just weren't set up to win the game. No, we, set up to fail, we, were, we were set up with we, we basically chucked all our attackers in and just hoped for the best. What is it like kids' like, football? Just... Well, I don't know what your plan is. You can't just have your best kind of creative players yeah. in a team and hope for the best. Football's not like that yeah. anyway anymore. I don't know if it ever was when before I was born, but this what on earth is that? It's a shambles. And look, about last week, I did say it. I did feel it a bit. Sometimes you do get, even in your darkest season when you go down, you get the odd result. We had it when we went down from the two at Dagenham, 1-0. Yeah. And we rode our luck, luck a bit in the game. They hit the post three times. Last week we had a solid base. Sir. We had a so, No, it was protected. improvement. We had a solid base that protected. But other days that could have been 3-1. Defense, didn't we? Yeah. It could have been, but we set up to with Try, a solid base yeah. to protect the defence. Yeah, ourselves a we did give ourselves a yeah, chance. We gave ourselves mm. a good chance, and that's the way but mo- it come good. So it's, but then most of so our wins, are, our wins away from home have been so similar, haven't they? I mean, Dagenham hit the boast three times. At the Halifax game, they House should have had, murdered House us four five one. How Stead was a hero, and he had a great game yesterday. Yeah. It was fantastic. He's made and- three or four amazing saves, and we've conceded three bloody goals. We're getting we're getting to a point, aren't we, where we can we've got to score four or five just to get. A point, let alone win a game. And the the simple matter of, is, we've won four games this season. It's not good enough. And any any other owners, any other club. Sorry, Gary. It's not. It's you've had your chance. It's not worked. See you later. Or give him at least a month or two ago, and or give him recruitment man exactly to try and get someone else in. Man it's, it's 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 just we take one step forward and then we take ten back. That's what Simpler, it feels like to me. Simpler needs to be better, doesn't he? We need to set the team up better. I mean, we can say we need better players, which is true, but also you've got to give them the best chance of winning the game. And this um, is fine in the episode where we Marshall. snap. You've got you've got you've got players like Marshall and Crow. We know they're you know, inexperienced. They're going to struggle. Good. We gave them no protection. We had the mm. we had their best player up Lapsley against Crow. Clearly we wasn't no protection. Fit Every time he cut in, there was no midfielder to cut out. The Silver was shocking. And one, I'm sorry, I love them yeah. too, especially the Silver this season. But like, they couldn't beat his first man. Worm is out of form at the moment. It happens. I do like Worm mm. a lot, but his crossing yesterday was mm. abysmal. I was saying here last sort of ages, wingers, wingers, wingers. What well, the wingers? In nothing. Look what our winger does. He's, he's not a natural winger for me, Sam. He's a sort of inside, inside left yeah, kind of player. He wants to be. In, I don't know if he's very. Really yeah, he wants to be behind the striker. I'm, I'm not, it's not sure he's a winger. That's the trouble. We try to think he's Ben Whitfield too much. You know, we try to think mm. he's that winger who will take everyone. Oh God, that's when we sad. Ben Whitfield. Mm. 
I mean, this is the point where it snaps, if I'm honest with you. Like, when, when we do this, you, you get angry at the game and then you settle down and you do it on the Monday. Maybe because we have one less day than usual and England have gone out of the World Cup. But this is absolutely disgraceful. Yesterday, oh, oh it's an open game. We're unlucky. You That only works when you're watching like your under-10s football when it's open. It's pathetic that a professional team can't keep a ball for five minutes. Pathetic we let... Nine chances, I reckon. Go back and count them. I don't care. Helps they've made about five or six days. We conceded three goals and they missed a couple. Against yeah. Oldham, I know this team's good on paper, but they were psychologically destroyed. They've just conceded a 90-odd mm. minute defeat at Boreham Woods. They're a big club with a lot of expectations, 23rd in the National League. And we've gone mm. there and we've gone, yeah, here we go. Go on, go on. I, I, I believe... I believe they've scored 19 goals in 20 games and they put three past us like and they should have with like ease. Nine. What um the only positive you can really have well they were I think they've still a few positives there were in the some game. Positives right? in the second half. Yeah. 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 Individually think, rather than system wise. Yeah. I thought win, well that done. was yeah, I was gonna say that was probably Goodwin's best performance that I've seen this season. Mm-hmm. He took his goal really well and he's building up a bit of confidence now up front. And there was a time where we thought He's probably playing a bit too much football, but he seems like he's finally getting that knack of get scoring goals. And it was a well taken goal as well. I kind of feel um, like with Will Goodwin, he isn't just Saloni from Stoke. He's like, oh no, this is me. I am Will Goodwin. That sounds stupid, but he, he has found what Will Goodwin is. He's a very good National League. He's probably going to be a Football League striker if he keeps going. And the thing is, we sit here like, oh, Sinclair Armstrong was incredible, which he was, obviously. And he was a character. But like, Sinclair Armstrong helped us out. When we saw a little Lemon Ivans, Goodwin's literally helping out a terrible team. It's like Reese Healy. Mm. Like yeah, he scored we, seven goals. We, as we, well always, we season, don't talk about Reese Healy is because he scored yeah. nine goals and come top score in a team that went down. But we talk about Sinclair Armstrong and Loney's like that. But Reese Healy was unbelievable. And I feel like Goodwin, the way he's going, could really be good. Win. He's a clever player. He gets the yeah. ball down well. He moves it quickly. And he also just knows where to find the bottom right hand corner of the goal, doesn't he? Which is. Nice yeah, good penalty. I just by don't think he nine. works well with Jarvis. I... Good penalty, number Jarvis. nine. By yeah, Jarvis. I will give him that. Jarvis scored yesterday, but the, the partnership, I just, I just no, don't I like that balance mm. of the team. No, it just I agree with you. I like yeah. both, and ideally, you want both of mm. them playing because they're both very good players. Yeah. But yeah, I like both. You can't make yeah. it work, and it's ruining the team. You don't do it, and I'd expect a manager like Gary Johnson, even though there's probably not many other options available for him to. Um, it's a bit like England, yeah. isn't it, where we've shoot horn players into the team just because they're popular, and that we've yeah. done that internationally over the years. And that's a similar thing of talking this way. Yeah. Yeah, no, I agree. I'd, I'd also give credit to McGavin second half. I thought he looked. Oh yeah, Mate, I was going to say that. So Lapsy Clay wasn't fit yeah. because, uh, yeah. as Matt pointed out in his um, uh, in his uh, review, is that he didn't track back second goal. We all blamed Evans for not closing down, but apparently he was just walking back. Um, he would have started the game obviously if he was fit. Um, lovely ball by him, by the way, for the second goal. Yeah, well, um, it was just tough yeah. for him coming but back. I thought McGavin, weeks, as I've yeah. described it on the other the other pod, uh, I said he was a bit like a Rolls Royce, well, not Rolls Royce, but kind of Lexus man. So then I said Vauxhall insignia. He's like a Vauxhall insignia kind of player. You know, he's good. He was like little flicks coming off. I, I didn't look he at very McGavin. He was really tidy yesterday, wasn't yeah. he? I thought mm-hmm. I yeah, he was. Yeah. Once and go, what are you doing? You stroll around a bit, pick the right pass. Nice little flicks. Um, the Vauxhall insignia of the midfield. That's what I'm calling yeah. not. So, I think uh, he stays in now. I, I, I play McGavin every game because he gives yeah. us midfield. He can you keep know what, as well? Hanson's not been good enough, but I just think like, it's getting to not cut your losses, but it's just a bit like, right, the, get them it's in. not. It's not worked. It, you know, they're they're not the... disastrously bad. There's a few players in our defence right now who have been disastrously bad. I know Crow can go forward a bit, um, which shows we didn't put in defence. But like, just put them in. We don't have any other players. Don't put a makeshift bloody team in. Just put midfielders in midfield. Keep please. the shape the same. Yeah. You don't need to change it just because one player gets injured. I mean, yeah. we've, yeah. we've, had, we've had two summers now to find a replacement for Asa Hall, haven't we? Because he, we know he's coming to the end of his shelf life. We just haven't done it. We've paid for we've paid money for Hanson in the summer. He's just not up to it any- at the moment. He might, he might come good eventually, but... 
Does anyone know the extent of the uh, injury? Do we know what the injury was? Oh, my was? God. That's another thing I was going to say, right? What on earth was that? So we sat here. I have no idea. Booty Sport. Let's go. <laughs> oh, Torquay, you've been dealt with a blow of Asa Hall out for six to eight weeks. You're like, why has the club not said that? Who said that? Would they have said that? Would we have known? Would anything in a newspaper that tends to be up to date with it say that? What BT, thanks for telling us, because we wouldn't have had any bloody clue. We've had players out with broken legs, Sam, and we don't hear, let's be honest. I mean, what so happened? Just... I still don't know what happened to Nelson. <laughs> you know, all those years ago, yeah. it's a joke. Well, we had the main out last year. He got a broken leg, didn't he? We never yeah. heard. And I think we've had uh, Levin, Levin High Evans had an operation one year. We didn't yeah. hear anything, did we? They just don't. But I don't understand we're... what the logic behind that is. Oh, they might. What? <laughs> they... what... Well, the manager's going to change his game because a National League player plays for Torquay isn't in the squad. squad. You know, I get it if he's maybe one game away, but just let the fans know so we're not sat there waiting. You know, mm. only at Torquay. Soon at Torquay. I don't. Now, I don't I sit, as soon as you heard him, Adam Summerton say that that he was out for six to eight weeks, you're just like at least. Oh no! And yeah, if he's back within be... five, he'll rush back and then he'll be injured for the rest of his the season, and then that'll be it's... done. Communication at this club is terrible. I mean, some of the Facebook posts, it's like, oh, blah dee da da please go onto the website for further details. Just put a link to your article and stuff like that. <laughs> we that managed really to do bugs, it. That really we, bugs me. Like, we, we can do it. Why can't the club? Talkie Talk do a better uh, job. These hats, yeah, we, I've got one yeah. there because I'm we doing it. We make better merch in the club. We, 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 we do a better job. It's not. We shouldn't be having to do that. Well, I'm not worried about the links, Thomas. The football I'm concerned about. Yeah, I mean, Asa, Asa Hall was missed, wasn't he? They were picking up so many loose balls in that first half that he would have been on to. He'd have got headers, little kicks on. Fix your little links, things though. That he'd, he'd just well, maybe Asa Hall could get into the website design for a bit. That won't help out. You know, get everyone around, get the, get the links in. Bet you'd take some, honestly. I don't know <laughs> to laugh or cry. I think this is the episode. I think I'm going to record it. We finally snapped. I was going to ask if you got a title for this one because I well, feel like we've, I put, we're running out of options. I, I was I was just you like bad defeat. No, I've used that rock bottom. Used that twice. Um, what else can I put? A uh, huge loss. No, I've done that already. Yeah, bad defeat. I, I'm not very descriptive at the best time of words, as yeah. you might notice. I mean, um, I, I said on the WhatsApp group yesterday, didn't I? Would a different manager have got us a, a better shape, better formation, better tactics? Just a, I think they probably would, and that's the point we're getting to. Where you're thinking, is this guy doing the best? You know, is is this guy is he the getting the most out of the mess he's created? Is he is getting the best the out of the squad? Is he doing the best we can? You know, we can get. You know, the players could be improved upon, but I just. So disappointing yesterday. It really was disappointing. Yeah. Though the um, 87 members of the Yellow Army there yesterday, I incredible. mean, incredible, great, great turnout. And I know quite yeah. a lot of them, or quite, you know, were on the Travel Club who do a great job, by the way. Uh, if you're looking to get to your Yeovil New Year's Day, go support them because um, yeah. they deserve so much better, as we all do following this football club the last couple of years. Yeah. Um, I'm just fantastic fed up driving. This- I'm fed up with us having to say that, Tom, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm fed up with everything. Like they deserve that, yeah. better, but we have to keep saying it, don't we? It's just, yeah. it's just not coming at It almost gets to a point where you wonder whether it's going to take us to not turn up as supporters to really get the message across. It's, I just, there's no, this should have been a game we should have won. We should have been up for. And again, one step forward, 10 paces back. It's not good and enough. It's shocking. You, and people, I don't care. It's embarrassing that we're in the National League relegation zone. It's an absolute disgrace. And if anyone can still sit here and go, oh, you know, we played all right. Oh, you can't blame everything. Circumstances, the owners, like, whatever the money that this squad has cost, should, this squad should not be there. What you've built. So, carry on, Tom. Sorry. No, that's <laughs> that's really all I had to say. Um, it's, yeah, it's... It's just a shambles at the moment. It's following Talk United. We all, you don't follow Talk United for the glory, do we? Let's put it that way. It's a bit of even fun so, and hope and pride, though. Oh my god, it's embarrassing. I mean, we were last season. It was like, oh, it feels weird being mid-table or can't get used to this. I tell you what, I take mid-table any day. <laughs> than being I think in a last season, best, what's our, our best hope to win a game at the moment? Score first, and then defend for our life, or attacking chaos and throw everybody forward. It's just, um, there's no proper 
plan to actually win games at the minute. It's 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 all very hopeful at best, and then that that hurts. It really does. At the moment. I think last season was a big problem <laughs> because we knew it was the last chance of a lot of very very talented players. Now I thought we might have players that weren't quite as good, but when I mean levels below. Felt like an FA Cup game looking at our lads versus their lads at times. I know it's like Oldham away and they used to be where they are, but like, you know, like Stockport signs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then we've got our just yeah. academy rejects and not ready for professional football, never maybe will be or a few years off. We'll get released from Torquay and probably play, won't even make the South and North. They'll probably be below. And you're like, this is awful. Yeah. I mean, so it's the fact we're going through it again. We went through it with Nicholson and it was a bit different in those days because you knew everything was a shambles, you know. And then you don't expect the you don't you don't expect it under got a Gary bus Johnson driver management. manager anymore. You know, we haven't got 14 players in the squad who are desperately not very good at football, but are trying to get the most out of them. We've got quite has to come back to the manager, doesn't it? We've signed these players, they're not quite you ready can't for the tell first me this is the, as bad but as we budget. haven't got enough first team pros to make it work at the moment. It, it, it comes back to the manager and two two summers of bad recruitment, and here we are. Here we are. He's helped yeah. us and he has saved us and he's was one idiot away from making being one of the best talking managers of all time. Oh God, Sam, you're worse than BT Sport. But, oh, just um, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm afraid now you're taking us right back to where we we're in the first place. So what's the point in knowing for it? <laughs> That's what it feels like. Yeah, everyone mm. has an expiry date, don't they? Yeah, maybe we 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 will one day. Mm. Maybe, <laughs> but uh, before we move on to the. Uh, the second other part. points of the show in the second part. Um, might as well complete the round. BT Sport, enough about the playoff final. We know, we know, we it know. Was five seconds enough. into the game. It was literally five seconds in. Enough is enough, please. I... We're already suffering as it is. Yes. I can't take this anymore. In the council, then we have to talk about Ashton Gate. Like, seriously, is the way I. I like England. I'm getting over already. I'm annoyed, but like Ashton Gate, I'll never get over. Like you don't yeah. have to remind the fact that the reason the rest of our lives are going to be miserable and the club's going to mm. explode and implode all at once is because Chant, of Ashton Chant. Gate. We know it. Uh, we know if Chant. Billy Waters had planted his foot, it would right. We know if Simon Maffer wasn't corrupt, <laughs> then we would have won. We know if Danny yeah. might have not hit the bar, we'd have won. <laughs> Let uh, it all out, Chant. Sam. Let it all out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Talky talk therapy. Charlie Baker said it best, didn't he, on Twitter afterwards yeah, after the England amazing. game, didn't he? You know, nothing compares to Ashton Gate. We're all dead inside. It, it doesn't, you know? but it still hurts. It still hurts. Yeah, I hate all of them. <laughs> Charlie, <laughs> if you're watching, right, Charlie, if you're watching, I brought tickets to your show. Don't ma- in Timmouth. Don't mention Ashton Gate. Don't do anything about Talky United Football mm. Club on that night. I don't want to know. Oh, yeah, Charlie. Nah. Yeah. We'll be there. I'll try and get to the. I'll try and get. Try and get to your show in Brighton, Charlie. But uh, yeah, he doesn't Sam watch said. this. Probably doesn't. <laughs> Actually, we're going to be chanting "Yellow Army" throughout the first half. That's a yeah, shame. <laughs> maybe not. Sam, but maybe uh, yeah, not. so get Charlie Baker's tickets as well while you're here, and go to Galaxy. Actually, go yeah. to um, Charlie Baker, and then go all the way over to Torquay, and then go to Galaxy. That's what we can say. <laughs> cool. Thanks for watching the first part. We've asked you some question, which I'm too busy to do at work, so Dom's done it. And um, we will talk about it in the second part. Thank you for watching. Here's Hargreaves, chance for Torquay! Chris Hargreaves, the captain! If he stays on side, Carlisle checks instead. He's looking for Bennett. Sells!